Well, welcome back. Today I was very excited because the UPS man brought this little toy here. It, he's a um, Solotron 1250 frequency response analyzer. That probably doesn't tell a lot of people what it is. In fact, it is a super accurate. Um, good. It's really in good state, uh, and it uh, works. I just turned it on, and it didn't smoke. So I set the frequency to. I don't know if, it, if that's visible. I set the frequency to one kilohertz. Uh, with an amplitude with an amplitude of 300 millivolts and that's how we get out I don't know if that's visible probably yes and that's the frequency just double checking with the other counter if he's actually correct if you switch waveforms Square wave and that's triangle, it just does it. <coughs> I already have an L 1170, which is the older model. In fact, it's a boat anchor because I think it's about 30 kilograms or probably even more. Uh, which has a lot of issues with the keys on the older Solitron ones. Uh, I have no manual for the old one, I got one for this one. Um, the only thing is the display is a bit dim here. But I think it's not the display, it's actually dirt. Because there's quite a bit of dirt inside. If we go inside, it's probably visible here. There's quite a bit of dirt inside. The unit is believed to be manufactured in 1985. Probably mid 85, late 85. Um, from the serial number, also from checking out some components. So we'll take the front panel off and uh, clean that out, and uh, probably go through a couple of other tests. We've got some more projects coming up. This is a Hewlett Packard power supply which has some issues probably visible here the meters are snapped in and also the rest of this one the rest of this one which is a Marconi 2370 spectrum analyzer that's the analyzer unit here we have the display unit which is very dirty here it's got some issues with the display as well, so there's another scope which comes up very soon. So quite a few projects going. Sorry, there was the Hewlett Packard counter, it's very noisy. They all got turbines in inside. And uh, That's about it for today. Um, don't know when I got the time to get that panel off here. Maybe I do it today. We'll see. Well, I've just decided to have a look inside, and uh, you can see it's pretty dirty. Let me get some nuts and bolts out here. clean that. Okay, it's just getting those nuts off and I think that gives us access to the front 
screen so we can clean it a little bit. As expected, it's quite dirty here. So I think it's just a matter of cleaning it. With these older units from Solatron, you gotta be very careful with this flat ribbon type cable work to the keyboards because they are um, a bit fragile. And as we can see, there is plenty of dirt here. And we found a nice sticker. I don't know if that's visible, but it tells us the unit is manufactured or inspected 15th of January 86. So, we know at least when it was born. <coughs> We're gonna clean the display up, get the gunk out, and uh, put it back together. Pretty dirty everywhere, so it's just because the fan is pulling the whole shit through the unit, so it just needs a proper clean. And there you go. That's a third of 30 years. Probably worth checking the supply voltages because it's written down on the PC board just to make sure there are no rotten capacitors or things like that. After that time it's quite possible. So let's get some window cleaner and clean that face here. Well, so that's worth it to clean. Um, with these panel windows, you gotta be very careful because if you use some sort of aggressive cleaner, they go blind. Been there before, so just use some mild cleaner. This is glass here, so this is just a VFD unit, and uh, obviously they're fragile, so. Handle with care, but it was definitely worth it because it's quite dirty. So, let's see what comes off here. Oh, yeah, that makes a big difference here. So, because the only reported fault was actually a dim display, um, apparently, I'm very lucky because it's not. The VFD unit because they are pretty much unobtainable, but it is just the window. Oh god, that's most probably 30 years of dirt. It seems to be a little bit of a laborious process here. We'll come back when it's clean. It looks like someone has been in there before because this nut was actually missing. This one here. Maybe it has been cleaned at some point. So the dirt was not 30, maybe just 20 years old. But apart from that, we should be good to go now. These are a bit fragile here. It's basically just and the power switch is a bit odd as well. 
so we're not jamming any cables here. So let's see how it looks like. That's a lot brighter. Sorry, the camera has a wide angle lens and it's just horrible. But that looks much better now. I'm happy with that. So just remember the settings because there is a battery inside. Um, which may need checking. Don't know, don't know exactly where it is. But I'm pretty sure there is a battery for the memory, which saves the settings somewhere somehow. Need to check with the manual. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So. Get the brackets back on and get it back together. Well, while well, the front panel is off, we're just going to check these voltages here. It says ground is supposed to be here. That's going to be minus 18, which is 18.8. It's fine. 18.4 positive and that's supposed to be 5 volts which is within limits as well so I think we call that oh, what's that that's not as it should be here why is that board loose here Maybe in transit. I pulled the main plug before I did that, so it should be okay. It doesn't normally come loose, so I think it was it happened in transit here, so they didn't treat it very nicely. Maybe um, while we're here, I think it's probably a good idea for checking the whole thing for ripple, if there is any. Especially on the 5 volt side. It's full of TTL, so it is. It can be a pain to repair it. Well, it's 80s technology, so. Difficult to get there, but all I want to see is if there is any ripple on the, on the DC, especially on the 5 volt side. Because and as we can see there is something which is not too bad. Twenty millivolts per division, so that's twenty, forty, sixty, eighty millivolts. I think we can live with that. Only eighteen volts, a bit more. about 80 millivolts ripple so I'm happy with that so we call the power supply good and get it back together so now we've got a working unit um, I'll probably do another video about all the capabilities and how it's going to be used but Essentially, it's just a glorified function generator, um, but it can do a lot of lot more. Um, I need to clean the fan on the rear, uh, but that's not worth making any video of that. So I call that done for now, and stay tuned. There will be some more stuff coming I actually like this mid 80s solitron design 
it's very timeless actually it's uh, it still looks fairly modern if you look at these uh, voltmeters here they are from the same era I really like them because they're very good meters it's just a bit big but uh, essentially they do a fantastic job if you got the space for it and uh, yeah as mentioned before we're gonna go through the functions once once it's on the shelf and everything is hooked up to a computer we we'll probably do some demonstration what the unit can actually do and uh, because it's really exciting there's a lot of functionality in it and uh, very useful tool not actually a repair that's the reason why it's called shop gossip rather than uh, can we fix it because it was essentially just cleaning and uh, for the price I've paid I'm really happy with that Till next time.